Oh, who tried to violently rob a grandmother in St. Paul. Prosecutors charged 18-year-old Isaiah Foster with aggravated robbery and assault. He was already in jail for other crimes, but as our Jeff Wagner explains, it was a family member who turned him in. It's no surprise this jarring video of a thief yanking Judy Stutman to the ground in order to steal her purse spread quickly Wednesday. Even she recognizes why it struck such a chord. I hate to admit it when you hear you're elderly, but then I look at myself in that video walking and I see, yes, I am elderly. Support has been constant since our story aired. I've had quite a few emails and a lot of phone calls. But one call from police stands out. I was really, really pleased to learn that they had him. 18-year-old Isaiah Foster was identified in the video by his mother. Court documents say she called police after recognizing him and his black jacket that was a gift from his grandmother. She prayed on it, but ultimately turned him in because she, quote, did not raise him like that. I think it would have been the most difficult thing in the world. I am sure that the mother realizes that this might be his best chance for turning his life around. And that is my hope. Foster had been in jail since Tuesday, arrested for a string of robberies. Police say he and two others carjacked a woman in an alley behind her St. Paul home. The mother had to quickly pull her three-year-old child out of the SUV before it was stolen. Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to discuss this case that you saw the news report about, about this young man, Isaiah Foster, that was turned in by his mother. He was turned in by his mother, but obviously before this he was, he was already in jail for a string of robberies he had already done. But the mother turned him in from that robbery where he robbed the old the elderly lady. It's like almost yanked the lady hand off. But this picture is what the mother recognized. Because some people, and you see the, how this looks, she knew that was her son. Not only with the jacket, and she knew that was her son. So sometimes people don't even have, uh, uh, people have a much clearer picture. And sometimes they don't even get a suspect. People just don't want to talk. But anyway this mother I mean even though I do always say you know parents need to step up parents need to keep their raise their children better they need to keep uh, um, themselves accountable this is not an easy thing to do for you to know that hey this is my son and and then like she said I didn't raise him like that and sometimes parents some parents some children some people that get in a lot of problems they were not raised that way but um but they fell into peer pressure they um got into a bad um group and then like the bible tell you bad company corrupts good character it doesn't matter if you have good character if you're hanging on with the wrong people it will affect you it will affect you it may not affect you right away but it will affect you birds of a feather flock together so she had this agonizing um, decision and she made a decision to let the police know hey this was my son that did this because in all they probably would have never knew and now realizing hey if I don't do something um, this boy could end up being killed because he might end up meeting the right person. Because sometimes people say, "Oh, that's um, that's the uh, um, that's the wrong one" or whatever. Sometimes it's the right person. He didn't. He gonna. And he might. He may have encountered the right person. Try to rob the right person, and then that person was packing, or encounter a uh, uh, police, and then he resisted or whatever may have happened, and then he's no longer here. So I'd rather see you in jail. I'd rather sit behind you in a courtroom when they, where they're judging you and sentencing you than to stand in front of your coffin, than to walk behind your coffin when they're leading your um, body out of the church, out of the fu um, funeral chapel to go bury you. At least I'm able to see you. Yeah, you're going to be mad for some days, weeks, months, maybe years. But one day you're going to realize that I loved you.
because when you love somebody when you love somebody you don't tolerate them when they're doing stuff that's detrimental for, to their future you don't enable them in their uh, um, wickedness or evil you don't especially if you know about it because the countless parents that have enabled their children their children it, it, they are the six feet under or they their life have I mean, they, they have never done anything productive with their life because they have continued to be enabled. Nobody has ever held them accountable. But thank God that this, um, this, um, Isaiah's foster's mother, because we don't know her name, she made that very difficult decision, very difficult decision to turn him in, to turn him. And he, and he has a grand, he has a grandmother. The grandmother gave him a jacket and then he did this to another older woman. But that's what happens with this getting money quick. People want to get money quick. The Bible tells you anything you get quick. Money that comes quick never lasts. Because you because you, you didn't work for it. Because when you work from your money, you know you're not going to spend it any type of way. Because you know you work hard for your money. You know if you spend $100, that was two, three hours, five hours of you working. So you take your time to do something productive with your, your money. So I pray that, I pray that this young man oh, really change his life. I mean, really get it because he's 18. Pray that he doesn't have to spend the rest of his life in jail. Maybe one day he'll be able to come um, out of there. Anyway, let's pray for his mother and this young man. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for all you do and all you continue to do in our lives, Lord. I lift up this young man and his mother that had to do this very hard, hard decision where she turned her son in. Maybe she... Uh, um, have gotten slack from people people have condemned her and then of course people have praised her but it's still not easy to know that your son is in jail well your son is gonna have more years on what he had already done because you turned in him but lord let her know that her decision will most likely save his life because at least he is not six feet under Lord, I lift up this young man before you. I don't know him. I don't know anything about him. But Lord, I ask you to place people on his way that would steer him in the right direction because he needed more direction. Yes, his mom raised him that way. But sometimes we need that uh, an extra push. We need an extra somebody. Some people need an extra somebody in their way on top of them, direct them in the right way, showing them which way to go. Lord, may you place detectives, may you place lawyers, may you place even fellow inmates so you could direct this young man in the right direction. And when he truly has decided to change his life, Lord, may you <clears throat> have mercy and may you give him favor in the sight of men that will um, determine his fate when he truly has decided to change. Because Lord, you know God, men's heart. We don't know that, but you, Lord, you know man's our man's heart, and when he truly decides to change, Lord, give him favor and grace in the sight of men. I thank you for his mother, cover her, and give her the strength and give her peace to know that she made the right decision. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.